What's up, gang? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Sorry about this crazy angle of the camera, but that's cool. We're gonna get back into this bike. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, so every time we got a video that comes out, you guys can catch it. <clears throat> now, the last time we were um, dealing with this bike, it was just putting on the back, so I put on the red and the yellow one. So let's go ahead and put on the green one. And don't forget, the reason why the bags came off at first is because I had to wash them, I had to clean them, and I'm running the wires a little bit differently. And it's a whole different unit, so it was a good time just to break the bike down and put it back. So that's what we're doing now, we're putting it back. And these bags smell great. Good, good, good wash. Custom fit. <clears throat> now we have the bags installed not all of them I even have some more bags um, can you pass me those bags Jay? let me show you I have some more bags I'm not going to install these bags to later because I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up of the back rim and tire thank you that's Jay, Jay Birdie I see we have, we have some more I'm sorry oh Jay was saying hello She's the uh, stage manager and assistant. But yeah, see these bags go like this. <clears throat> and so you got the whole uh, coordination of the bag, of the bike, you know, the colors. And uh, Desert One, Urban Desert One is the guy that came up with the colors and the bags. He saw my bike and he was like, yo man, I would love to make you some bags for your bike. And uh, this is what we came up with. So I'm gonna be putting these on later. I'm not throwing those on the floor. Uh, behind the set right here, we have a nice lounge couch area. We have some of our YouTubers, they come and they sit and they watch me video and watch me do a little film. And we have a little speakeasy and a little meet and greet, you know, here at uh, Birdhouse Mansion Studios. We're in the state of California. Okay, so now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and install the controller. The controller is the brain of the bike. It operates the throttle. It operates the on and off switch. And it also operates the motor in the front, which is a 26 wheel. It's a 500 watt motor that's ran by a 36 volt lithium ion battery. So <clears throat> normally this this, this controller, it comes with a bag. I'm gonna show it to you. Pass me that bag, buddy, please. She's such a great assistant, y'all. Let's give her a hand. Thank you, buddy. 
Alright, now, this is the bag that the controller would normally go in. This is what comes with it. But, you know, you could probably hang it on your... came with the battery? Yeah, this came with it. So you can normally hang it, you know, on the front. And anywhere you can, because relatively, the bike is normally smaller. It's not as big as this bike. So this bag is cool, but I'm not gonna put so much pressure and stress on it. These bags wear out a lot, they suck. My buddy's bag is better. And so I got this red bag to replace that black bag from China. So all these bags right here are lifetime bags. I mean, they're good quality. I've had watermelon, I went grocery shopping, I've had gallons of milk in those bags, you know, on both sides. Bike ran good. Oh, and before I install this uh, controller, <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about this, this rack. This rack is also custom made, so that way when I'm riding, my battery is secure properly. Those uh, bike racks from China, man, they suck. I had ran through some and then somebody gave me advice not to do it. So let's go ahead and install this, this uh, controller right here. Okay, now this cable here is for the tires. And all you have to do is there's pins, color-coded pins. So I put the green in first, which it wouldn't matter anyway because there's no electricity here. So I put the green in first. I'm going to make sure we go in here like this. Now with these being brand new parts, it's kind of stiff when you when you put them together. But I noticed when I bought it and I brought it out the box, they already had them put together. I just pulled the wires out. I'm sure that's what they did to test it. So I'm just putting them in, say for the second time or for my first time, because they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty tight. Okay, that one went in nicer and better. All right. Now, the guy that showed me how to build bikes, showed me how to get all my parts. If you want to know about that cat, I'll let you know about that cat. His, uh, his description will be below on one of my, um, the music went off. Oh, well, I don't understand that. But anyway, um, the cat that showed me this bike, if you want to hear about that cat, I'll let you know about him. Uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the notification bell, and I'll let you know a little bit more about how I got into these bikes, let you know the story, what happened to me, how I started riding bikes, once I get 10,000 subscribers. Okay, let's see here. And, and you know, this is pretty uh, simple. Like I said, they just click right in. You just follow the color coordination and you really can't mess up like this prong or this lead or this connection or this hornage, wahar, you know, it, the wire hornage, it goes right here, just like this. It only goes one direction. Okay. Just like that, I just completely um, connected the throttle and the motor with this, just boom, boom, boom. That's all it took. And then the next connection would be the quick disconnect, which is here. The quick disconnect, what it does, it turns the power off between the bike and your entire brain and system in case something happens. There's a fuse in here and it blows and it, and it protects your, your pipe. So this here goes here. Again, you can't go wrong. There it is. If you heard that click, that's a good sign. This is the power cord. I'm going to have another wire cable that's coming through here. It's going to come up and it's going to feed the power supply, which would be the 36 um, volt lithium ion battery. That's what will power this bike here. And it's plenty of power. I, I, I had a big guy on here. I had couples on here. And I've seen two people on here. And I've had, you know, my whole campsite on this on this bike. If you go to Bart, 
Bass, B-A-R-R-T, B-A-S-S, Facebook, and then you can see this, this particular bike in action. So now, since I have all the wires that I could do right now, all connected, everything is looking good, it's fresh, it's clean. So now we're gonna put it in this pouch. And then that's another thing too. <clears throat> Let me show you something. Check this out. See this pouch? It's too small. So it won't be able to, you know, put everything I wanna put in it because of the design of the bike and the way I'm doing it. So like I said, this thing here would be cool for something else, but not for this. I like doing that. Because Desert One, Urban Desert One bags are better. Okay, so I connected everything. So now we're gonna just put it in here gently. Did you guys see me put this green bag on? Oh yeah, you did. Okay. Man, I, I got a couple of videos going on behind this bike and bits and pieces and you know, just trying to do it right. Okay, so put this in here. Neatly. Like a little pouch, you know? So you just be careful and just take your time and I'm just putting everything in here systematically. And it goes comfortably. Just like that. No, no stress, no problem, no worry. Look at that. Done. You don't see nothing. Then I can also adjust this to make it a little bit tighter too. And I can adjust the cables in there just by moving with my hand. But yeah, all this could be adjusted. I put it on relatively loose so I could adjust it. Okay. So that's on. And if you notice, the tires are flat because I haven't inflated them yet. <clears throat> this bike has been sitting. And this right here, when it comes in the, in the box, they don't uh, put air in them. They don't inflate them. So let's see. I'm going to move this up a little bit here. So now everything is going good. Now, actually for this bike to go right now, all I have to do is put this battery here run my cable, which is already pre-made, run it through here, but the only issue I have is not a problem. The only issue I have is the connections are different. So I think I'm around to Home Depot or Lowe's. So I'm gonna run out and get these connections. And then tonight we're gonna get this bike uh, front tire to at least move. I don't know if I'm gonna go out. It's cold, kind of dark. And when I do shoot the video of it running, I think J-Bear wanna be on it. And maybe I have her dressed uh, in green, yellow, and red. So, you guys, uh, give us a like, comment, share, thumbs at the bottom, thumbs at the bottom, thumbs at the top, thumbs, 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 thumbs up. <clears throat> but yeah, let's put this battery on. That's enough talking right now. Okay, so this lithium ion battery, it replaces lead acid batteries. Now, this is a 36 volt lithium ion battery. It weighs about, oh, eight pounds. And the batteries that could replace this and run this bike, physically run this bike, would be three like motorcycle batteries. If you ever seen them, got my head chopped up. If you ever seen like motorcycle batteries, if you can do three, one, two, three, and you wire them up in series, and each battery that you're wiring up is 12 volts. So once you wire up three 12, 12 volt batteries uh, in parallel, you will have a 36 volt battery, but it won't be as good as this. It won't last as long as this, but it will make you move. And it'll be 24 pounds versus eight pounds. So, and you will say, how would it go on a bike? Of course, you know, it'd be a bag and it, and it zip ties and it locks to the bag, just like with these Velcro, it's like that. But um, this is a way better battery. So let's see if I could get it on here. Now this slides on here just like this. Let's see. 
Now, that's locked. You can't take that out. Now, as you can see, the bike is starting to come together. Now, I normally have this around the key so it won't fall out while I'm driving. But in the last video, I put this thing on so good, I can't even get it off. Let me try it again. Okay, there you go. What a day of difference make, you know? What a day of difference make. Did I say that right? What a day of difference make. Okay. So, a good thing to do is to put this here like this so when you're traveling, the key don't pop out on you, you'll be stuck somewhere or you won't be able to go. Okay, and that's what that does. It has two operations. It locks it and then it also turns on the power once I are connected. So this is your boy Airby for right now. You done seen me put on the bags, the bag. You seen me put on the um, lithium ion battery, 36 volts. And the next video will be to connect the power. I'll have it where we can run the wire. I'll show you connect the power, turn the key, turn it on, boom. And then maybe in the next couple of videos, we'll take this bad boy for a spin. Until next time, this is Airby and Jaybird. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. The content is safe for kids. There's a lot of things on TV right now that kids could watch, and this is one of them. So until next time, may God bless you and yours. And it's so great to be alive, baby. You! Want to get that button back here? You want me to hit it? I'll hit the button, y'all. Can't wait till next time. We're going to take this bike on a ride. Stay tuned. Peace. Peace.